Hello and welcome to this short presentation where we're going to be discussing preparing for Yorkshire Terrier puppies. My name is Peter Davison and I'm going to walk you through some of the basic things you need to do before bringing your new Yorkshire Terrier puppy home. Are you ready then? So let's start preparing for Yorkshire Terrier puppies. Yes, it is very exciting to get a new puppy and to be able to bring him or her home. There's no doubt about it. It can be challenging, um, exciting, challenging. There's things we need to learn, but it also can be turned out quite badly if you haven't prepared properly. And that's what I'm trying to help you with here to make sure the time is exciting for you. Planning is absolutely paramount. Um, it's just so important to plan for the arrival of your new Yorkshire Terrier puppy to avoid frustration, damaged items around the house, and really to provide the safest possible environment for your puppy and for your family. So um, puppy proofing your home is something that we are going to discuss. And one of the first aspects we really need to talk about is the first things you must do, those very first things. So let's jump right into it. And that's the basic Yorkie puppy supplies. A good Yorkshire Terrier book. Um, this is very important to have something you can, as issues come up, something you can refer to to look for answers or to, um, in some cases, prevent problems coming up in the beginning. There's many places where you can get a, get a good Yorkshire Terrier book from. Um, you can try your local bookshop. So, uh, your local bookshop. Um, I myself have a Yorkshire Terrier book and audio, which is available from our website. But wherever you choose, whatever you're comfortable with, I urge you get a good uh, Yorkshire Terrier book and one that covers training too is quite important. Um, a doggy crate. This is very important too. Um, that can either be wire or plastic crate. That's the correct size for your Yorkshire Terrier puppy that you've purchased. A crate should be just big enough so your pup can turn around in it but not really move around too much in it. Uh, bedding. Obviously your puppy's going to need somewhere to sleep so some good secure bedding, something that's not chewable and obviously something that suits your environment if it's hot or cold appropriate bedding is important to get. A puppy collar. Puppy collar is very important and one that's made of a soft uh, fabric or a woven material is best. I wouldn't suggest a metal, anything metal around the neck. Uh, the collar should have a buckle fastener and should not be too tight. You should be able to fit two fingers underneath there. Um, underneath the collar, between the collar and the puppy's body. An ID tag is vital in case your puppy runs off. So that ID tag should have the puppy's name, your name and address if possible, and a phone number where you can be contacted. Let's continue on with some more puppy supplies. Um, grooming supplies. It's quite important to talk to your Yorkshire Terrier breeder at the time of purchase or beforehand if possible to find out what you can about uh, grooming and what age you can begin to clip your Yorkie. Uh, most uh, Yorkie dogs don't get their full adult coat till about 10 months of age and it's important not to be clipping too early otherwise their full coat's not really going to come in uh, very good so that's very important to have discuss that with your Yorkie breeder and with your groomer before doing any grooming and, uh, and certainly don't start grooming yourself until you found this out. Uh, puppy toys, they're very important um, to, to supply puppy toys for your Yorkie puppy because Yorkie puppies like all puppies love chewing and they in fact it's part of their um, t tooth and gum development to chew so appropriate toys that are not dangerous and can't be swallowed are very important and may well be the thing that saves your beautiful furniture from getting chewed. Uh, good quality puppy food. Uh, this is very important and there's too many different types available available now for me to, to name any brands but on the whole a dry a good dry premium puppy food is probably the best if you can afford it. Um, they're available often uh, via your vet. Some supermarkets will have them but as long as it's a puppy food, puppy have diff puppies have different um, nutritional needs than an adult, so make sure it's a puppy food. Um, 
Moist is not totally out of the question. Puppies can survive quite well on a moist food, but dry food is, is known to be better generally. Uh, food and water bowls are very important. Um, stainless steel or heavy plastic tends to be best, and something that can't be knocked over. So if you're out for an extended period and your puppy knocks over the water and it's hot, it can be quite dangerous as puppies can get dehydrated very quickly. So something sturdy is good there. And they will need clean water uh, once to twice a day. Some people use automatic dispensing feeders and water, water bowls. And whilst this does make it easier, it's not essential. And generally I wouldn't suggest to have an automatic feeder. Pups really should be allowed to eat and given a set period of time to eat their meal, approximately 15 minutes, and then the food removed. Not generally a good idea to leave food down. Um, a spray on no chew product. Um, some people have found this very useful. And this is really just, just a spray on areas where you're worried that your puppy might start chewing. Um, there's certainly uh, quite a few available on the market. They can be purchased commercially from many pet stores. But if you wish to use a homemade spray, you can mix one part of apple cider, vine apple cider vinegar and one part of water. But be careful with this spray as it may cause discoloration to furniture. So it might be better to for things like a drawer, a low drawer that your puppy has taken a fancy to and is chewing, you could try a bit of that on there. I've heard stories of people using chili sauce on um, handles, etc., that their pup's been chewing, and that has certainly worked. Uh, some more basic supplies. Um, well, I suggested you find a good vet even before you pick your puppy up if possible. So that'll really mean uh, looking up in the yellow pages or doing an internet search in your area or talking to people who've already uh, got a dog. That's often a good way to go. Um, you, might, you may like to consider puppy school or training yourself. So a good dog training book, as I mentioned earlier, a Yorkshire Terrier book is vital. Many have training, some training in it, but Often it's not really detailed enough, so I'd suggest you get a good training book. Um, you must keep a good sense of humour. That's really vital too. You'll have some moments where you think, what have I done? Bringing this lovely little um, baby into the house that now is ruling the household. But just keep your sense of humour and remember puppies grow up quick. And any of those niggly bad habits, if they're managed properly with appropriate training, are soon, soon sorted out and they won't be a problem. So in summary, preparing for your Yorkshire Terrier is exciting. It's absolutely worthwhile to do some preparation beforehand. It can make such a big difference to the outcome. Uh, we've talked about some of the basic supplies. They're the most important ones. There are several others that I don't really have time to discuss today. Uh, for those wishing more information, we have many complimentary articles that go much more in depth than I've been able to uh, go into here today. Uh, we offer a free Yorkshire Terrier course that really caters for those both who are new to the to the Yorkshire Terrier who are maybe looking to see if a Yorkshire Terrier suits themselves and their family right through to those that already have a Yorkshire Terrier and are dealing with um, more of the advanced issues such as grooming and training issues. Our course covers all of that. We have books and audios and we're happy if you visit our website at any time. We can be found at www.yorkshire-terrier-world.com forward slash yorkie-guide.htm. Bit of a mouthful, but just write it down exactly how it is there. Don't forget the dashes and the forward slash. So thank you very much for your time. And I hope you enjoyed that short um, introduction to puppies and basic supplies and I hope I get to talk to you again soon. Thank you and goodbye.